Hey everyone, welcome back to the Letterhead Studios and more Detroit Become Human, where I try to get us the better ending. But we're pretty much there, so I'm going to try my hardest not to talk so much, because I've already seen all this happen, so I won't have any genuine reactions to anything. So I'm just going to kind of give you the rundown of how this works. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Kara, Luther, and Alice are inside the border control building thing, passport way, thing, whatever. And soon Kara discovers that they're detecting androids and all that. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice, we'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Jerry? You risked your life to save us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. All right, so you have Luther and Jerry who are available to provide a distraction so that you and Alice can get across the border. If you have saved neither Luther nor Jerry, then you can talk to Rose and it'll allow Kara to have the option to sacrifice herself and make sure that Alice has someone to stay with to keep her safe. It's almost as depressing as the ending I got, except at least Alice will be taken care of and not left all by herself and My daughter needs found by God knows who inside that armored vehicle. delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. There you go, Adam, making your mama proud of you.
At any rate, so long as Marcus is leading a peaceful protest, there will be no need to sacrifice anyone. And y'all can walk through the border as a happy little family. ID, please. Welcome to Canada. Hey, look at that family. See, see that woman back there? Yeah, she made it. See? See? She made it. She made it. She totally made it. I knew they'd be fine. Back with Marcus, though. I didn't do the kiss. I prefer the singing. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fine on. Just a little while longer Fight on Just a little while longer Pray on Just a little while longer Incredible Everything the, the deviance the deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. I don't know what happened this time in particular. It might be because At I got today, Connor's happy ending. 11th, or it might be because I chose different interview questions, but the president the actually has something Detroit. slightly different to say. According to our sources, they originated from cyber life warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. We did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. 
Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, so this is a different version of Marcus's speech night. that you only get if Connor is still alive. And boy, is it weird. We have kept our pain to I mean, it's really weird. We suffered in silence. And I don't particularly like how they resolve it. Our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no, Connor. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! So, remember that little weird glowy thing that Connor touched his hand to and then he like panicked for a moment and his LED went red? I never knew what that was for, but now I do. So I followed the sound of Kamsky's voice. Led me straight to it. Curse you, Cyberlife! Where were we? Oh yeah. Finding the little blue pedestal thing. It's really super easy to find. As you walk, Kamsky's voice gets either louder or quieter. So just follow it and then just keep going that direction and you find it. It's so easy. It's just right there. At any rate, I'm gonna let this play out, and I'll see you at the end. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. I feel much better about having that ending. Though, there is one thing that really bugs me, and that's just how they completely throw away the whole premise that Connor can just be taken back. It just, it, it, it begs so many questions. Can they just access him at any time now? Is he always gonna have to survey himself to figure out whether or not Cyberlife's gonna hack into him at any moment because that that does not seem yeah that does not bode well or is it done I, I just I don't know it it bothers me the way that the speech just ends on Connor's face with that ominous note it's just like so yeah 
But I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Alice and Kara and Luther. I mean, I was always happy for Marcus, but definitely happy for them. So enjoy this little scene, and uh, I'll see you guys later in the next video series that I do. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.